Welcome to this, this tutorial on how to use the Tim Ferriss Dreamlining Calculator in Coda. If you don't know who Tim Ferriss is or what the Dreamlining Calculator is, uh, in the template for this uh, calculator, you'll see a bunch of links that go to Tim Ferriss's blog, um, as well as the original blog post that uh, this tool is adapted from. So this is the actual blog post from, on Tim Ferriss's blog. And he has a blog post um, entitled Ideal Lifestyle Costing. And it's all about how to create the ideal lifestyle as well as figure out the costs associated for your ideal lifestyle. Feel free to take a read through this blog post to give you some background about the Dreamlining Calculator. But we're gonna dive right into how to use this calculator. I'm not going to really show you how I built this calculator, but more so about how to use it as someone who wants to create Dreamlines. So the first thing you're going to see is the about this Coda doc section and it lists out all the individual steps you need to do that to help you fill out your dreamlining calculator and these are all the same steps that you'll see from the original blog post. So I'm not going to go through every single step right now because I'm going to walk you through step by step on filling this out from the beginning. So if you scroll down past this for a section and use, it's gonna ask you first off, do you wanna do a six month or a 12 month Dreamline calculator? I'm going to, you can do six months, 12 months, or even both if you are very um, ambitious. I don't think Tim cares. He just wants you to achieve your dreams. I'm gonna do six months because I want to achieve my dreams sooner than later. So once you click on your timeline, click on the next section, which is, the having dreamline. So I'm gonna click on this and it brings you right to the next section, which is having. Now I'm going to actually minimize this left-hand sidebar so that we can see more of the screen. And so there we go. So to start, what do you dream of having in six months? And Tim suggests that you write two or more. And this could be material wants like a house, a car, a clothing. And so here are uh, some of the things that Tim has written. I'm just gonna you can clear all this data by default um, if you want. So I'm gonna clear all this and just kind of write in from scratch. So Tim originally, this is from his original Dreamline calculator example. He wanted an Aston Martin, uh, DB9. And I'm actually just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna copy and paste this so you don't have to see me write out the whole thing. So I'm just gonna, you can just write down all your things. Maybe I'll say full Kendo armor from Japan. And there you go, once you've written out your two to five uh, having dream lines, then you can click on the being. So move on to being. And this is in six months, what do you dream of being? And these are, again, writing two dream lines or more to be a great cook, fluent in Chinese, so on and so forth. And I'm going to clear the data below for now. And this is, these are the being dream lines that Tim had originally written in his template. So it wants to be flexible, flexible, I can't type today, best selling author, which Tim already is, but this is for me, fluent in Greek, excellent cook. So these are all things that I dream of being in six months. And the one thing you have to do about the dreaming, or sorry, about the being dream lines is you have to also indicate how you're gonna, what you're gonna do to make this happen. So I'm going to copy some of these things from Tim's original template. So in order to be flexible, uh, to make it happen, you have to, he has to, you have to be able to do a full side split, best-selling author selling 20,000 copies per week, and uh, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna put in these last ones so that I can have the last little emoji for flexible and for book. So once you have your being dream lines written in and that you want to be in the next six months, you can go to the uh, third and final dream line section, which is doing. So these are the two or more things that you dream of doing in six months. So visiting Thailand, tracing your roots overseas, so on and so forth. Again, I'm gonna clear the data below so that I can start from the beginning. <clears throat> and again, I'm just gonna rewrite actually the data that I just deleted, but for Tim, it was selling a TV show, visit Croatian coast, and you can kind of see how you can write 
basically the things that you want to more or less experience or do in the next uh, six months for your dreamlines. All right, so we just did our what we want to what we dream of having. So these four things: what we dream of being, and then finally what we dream of doing. So we have written uh, written down all these dreamlines based on uh, Tim's original lifestyle cal lifestyle calculator blog post. So now we have to actually limit down to four dreamlines that we want to pick from the ones that we've written down. So once you click on this section, you're going to notice that you have a view of all your having, being, and doing dreamlines and that you wrote in the last three steps. Now you want to pick the four that's going to absolutely change your life. And I'm going to pick these four. So Aston Martin, I really want to have one. Uh, maybe a person also want to have a personal assistant. You notice that when you click on your dream lines, they actually turn green. And you notice that if you don't pick f exactly four dream lines, you're going to get this error message saying you have to select four dream lines for six months or 12 months. So I have to select one more dream line to make sure I have four selected. I'm going to say, let's say my last dream line is going to be visit Croatian coast. And there we go. I've selected four dream lines. So we've narrowed down our list of having, being, and doing dream lines. Now let's actually try to put some costs and also next steps around these four dream lines. So if I click on Dreamline Costs and Actions, this is where you're going to have to get a little more, think a little more deeply about how you're going to achieve your dream lines. So you want to do some research for each of these dream lines to find out the cost associated with the uh, achieving the dream line. So in general, try to do a monthly cost, but you can also do a one-time cost as well when you, when you click on this column one time or monthly. So for instance, the you might be trying to buy a house for $200,000, but the monthly mortgage would could be $2,000. So if you're having a house dream line was here, you would put $2,000. So th these numbers are also from Tim's original uh, dream line uh, ideal lifestyle costing template. So for Aston Martin, I suppose he found out that um, a lease for an Aston Martin is around $2,000 a month. Having a personal assistant is around $400 a month. Best-selling author, uh, hard to, it's really hard to put a, a number around this. So I think he, he had zero. And then for doing, visiting the Croatian coast, this is actually a one-time cost because you're not paying this monthly to visit, unless you want to visit the Croatian coast every month, you're gonna check this off as a one-time cost. Now, finally, it's time to take some action. So you have your four dream lines here. Write the steps you need to do now, tomorrow, and the day after to achieve your dream lines. So this is where you can get a little more um, creative around what you need to do to do today, tomorrow, and the day after. So I'm going to t copy this these uh, steps right straight from uh, Tim's template. So I'm going to paste here, and you notice that, for instance, for doing an as for achieving the Aston Martin Dreamline, a step now is just finding a showroom, scheduling a test drive. Tomorrow will be actually getting in the car and taking a test drive, and then finally, th the day after is deciding on all the details and extras. And these are all the details that are that came straight from. Uh, Tim's, Tim's template. I'm not sure if I think he has a link to that template somewhere in here. Uh, here we go. So this is actually where I pulled the, the, the data from. It's uh, This is from the 4-Hour Workweek book, but it's um, kind of reversed, but you can see that here are the words and that he writ, wrote down in, originally in the book. We're just turning this into a nice organized calculator. All right, the last step before we look into your uh, lifestyle costing is clicking on the monthly expenses. So these, this is kind of like your current uh, monthly expense budget, if you will. List out all your monthly expenses to figure out your target monthly income, which we'll find out in the next section. So uh, these are basically all expenses that um, we have put so far that, that uh, I just kind of made some of these up. But you could very easily delete these and change these to like 300 or 50 here. And you can, of course, um, uh, delete some of these if they don't make sense. You can delete education, tuition, other loan payments, so on and so forth. And once you've 
put down all your monthly costs. Uh, so I think for, for Tim, he had put the rent and mortgage, credit card minimum payments, um, eating out. These are all things that are kind of variable expenses, but are really up to you and how you fill them out. And you, of course, can read the blog post for more detail. But once you've filled out your monthly expenses, now comes the really fun part of seeing your TMI or your target monthly income. All right. So a quick recap, your target monthly income is the monthly cash flow you need to live your ideal lifestyle or more or less achieve the dream lines that you just wrote in these last few sections. Your target da target daily income is simply the daily cash flow. So your TMI divided by 30 to figure out how much you need to make per day. And then finally, your total monthly expenses. Um, these are already going to be factored into your TMI and TDI, but it's just kind of a nice to know recap. So based on the numbers you've put in for, um, for having, being, and doing. This is your target monthly income, at least in um, Tim's case. So we have a nice little formula here. And what we have here is actually we have your, uh, this is a long formula, but you don't have to worry about it for now, but this automatically calculates based on what you have for your having costs. This is your being cost, which is zero. If you remember, it was, I think, being a best-selling author. And then doing costs is $156. Finally, the 2236 is your monthly expenses multiplied by 1.3, which is kind of a buffer of 30%. So if you take your monthly expenses and add up your having, being, and doing costs, your target monthly income is around $4,800. So that's basically what you need to bring in every month. And that comes out to just um, a little over $55,000 per year. So I think pretty achievable for a lot of um, people out there. And finally, if you look at the tar target daily income, this is broken down by day, what you need to make per day. So for six month, uh, six month dream lines, it's basically your target monthly income divided by 30. Finally, I already mentioned that your monthly expenses with 30% buffer is two, two, three, six. This is basically looking at your total expenses here and multiplying it by 1.3 to get you that buffer just in case there are certain months where you're spending a little more than you had originally budgeted. And finally, if you go down to this, this section below here, let's zoom out a little bit, you're going to see a dream line summary of the four dream lines you picked, the things you need uh, for being what you need to do to make it happen. And finally, the steps that you wrote in for, for now, for tomorrow, and for the day after. So hopefully this was a nice tutorial for you to use this uh, Dreamline calculator. And one last thing I wanna show before uh, signing off is this also looks really great on your phone. So after you've filled out your Dreamline calculator, you might wanna see what it looks like um, when you carry it around, carry around your Coda Doc on your phone. And this is uh, kind of what it looks like. So it looks really similar except you notice that all your sections now are along the bottom left. So for instance, sorry, for along the bottom, the intro section is just what we saw originally with the different steps and also a nice picture of Tim at the very bottom. You can also select whether you want to look at your 12 month or your six month dreamlines. And here you go. You can actually go through each of your um, dreamlines for having, being, and doing right on your phone. So you never lose track of how uh, close you are to achieving your ideal lifestyle. And these buttons also work too if you want to clear the data below and you can start from scratch. I'm just gonna undo that for now. And uh, yeah, and you can also look at the four dream lines you picked. Let's see what everything else looks like. You can also look at the costs associated for all your different dream lines. So you can always have tabs on that. And finally, looking at the monthly expenses, it's also nice to see to if you ever want to look at what you put in for your budget. And then finally, of course, the most important section is what your target monthly income looks like. And you can always have these numbers on your phone ready to go so that you know exactly what you need to uh, make and bring in to achieve your, um, your target uh, ideal lifestyle. 
Okay, well, I hope you uh, found this tutorial pretty useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments in the section, the comment section below. Uh, but hopefully this calculator will help you achieve your ideal lifestyle. Thanks for watching.